Disclaimer number one, I'm no barista. Disclaimer number one, I'm no barista. Never even probably stepped foot in a Starbucks before because I just go through the drive-thru. But I have to tell you about the most amazing gift my mother-in-law got me for Christmas because I do love coffee. She got me this cool thing. Do you guys know what it is? I had no idea what it was. I was like, cute, what is it? And turns out, there's a process for making coffee called pour over. And my son knew immediately what it was. So we didn't wait. Um, we immediately tried it out. She got it purposefully for our off-grid cabin that we have because we don't have the means of plugging in appliances. So I've always just been using a percolator. And it's just a mess to clean with and clean up. Um, but my son showed me how to make it and I wanted to show you guys because it is like seriously the best cup of coffee I've ever had in my life. Um, you basically use whole beans. You're gonna use a grinder to get them to somewhere between a medium and a fine grade. You pre-wet a filter. You're gonna put it that in there and pour your coffee grains in there and let them level out and then you're going to pour over your water kind of like in a four pot per part process um, and it does this amazing things to those beans that I guess a normal coffee making process doesn't do um, but I'm sure that there's people out there that know how to do this properly I will tell you I am not trained because there's like grams and ratios of water and temperature levels so I'm keeping it simple for us simple people uh, because I don't have time for that. <laughs> but I thought it was be worth making a video and showing you guys this whole slow pour process. Um, hopefully you like it. And it, if nothing else, I make you laugh because I don't know what I'm doing, but it makes a darn good cup of coffee. Okay, so the first thing that you wanna do with this process is you wanna pre-wet your filter. I'm not exactly sure why, but basically want to. I think it must just let the coffee grounds go through smoothly. And then you're just gonna dump this water. I think it helps relieve the papery taste out of the filter too. Then you're going to add your coffee grounds. There's some precise measurement, but I know I like like three heaping tablespoons. Um, you want to level those out. And then you pour for about 10 seconds, really slowly, just to get the coffee grounds wet. And you're gonna let this do its thing and what it's doing, it's releasing gases that are trapped when those beans are roasted. And you're gonna let that sit for 30 seconds. Okay, so that's been going 30 seconds. We're gonna slowly pour for a little bit longer. And we're just gonna go in circles trying to get that nice and mixed and we can go in different directions.
And you're gonna let that steep through and do your final pour. Okay, and I guess the final pour, you're just gonna go in the center. Trying to keep it even. Like I said, I am no expert and I can tell you the videos I watched of other people doing this, it definitely looked a whole lot prettier. You can give it one final stir to just make sure that your grounds are nice and even in there. Okay, so that's how you make an off-grid, or at least that's how we make it. And I think I'm going to name this my off-grid Keurig. But now just to make it extra yummy, add yourself your little bit of cream or whatever sweetener you like. We use some agave. And ooh, I'm telling you, you're not going to be disappointed at all. Mm-hmm, so yummy. So anyway, maybe you guys can convince your hubby to make one or you're ingenious enough to make it yourself. Um, but yeah, so now that I know all that there is about this coffee world out there, I really don't, but I'm interested to hear in the comments, what method of coffee making do you prefer? The newfound slow pour? percolating, um, your standard plug in the wall, Mr. Coffee. So leave your comments in the section below in the comment section and maybe there's another method of coffee making I've never even heard of. Talk to you guys soon. Bye.